guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are out at the Paulding County Community Fossil Garden. Literally the middle of nowhere. Um, but there's a quarry nearby. The uh, the rocks on the quarry have a lot of fossils. They, uh, they don't want people in the quarry because it's dangerous, but they want to allow collectors to still get fossils. So this is the uh, the compromise. They've got this, this uh, spot here where they've got all these rocks that have been dumped from the quarry that we can go and uh, hunt through for some fossils. So let's see what we can find today. So right off the bat, it's very shaly, but there is some limestone. I think I'm gonna go further back. I think there's supposed to be a waiver to sign, but I don't see the box for it. First decent fossil of the day, and it's actually a trilobite. Or at least, at least the head of a trilobite. Maybe there's more to it in there, but uh, oh, that's so exciting. Literally the first thing I found worth even looking at. It's a, it's a trilobite. Super, super excited with that. A little brachiopod in here. I think he is in decent condition if we can get him out of there. He'll look real nice. That's another uh, it's a piece of a trilobite in there. I should try and prep that out. I don't want to damage it more. There's the little trilobite eye. And uh, it's also an eye. This might be just a bunch of trilobite bits. But more trilobite, so cool. Alex just pointed out this nice little horn coral that was right next to my little bucket. Clouds finally came out, thank goodness. All right, another little uh, bit of a trilobite head right there. Let's see what else we got down here. It's a cute little baby brachiopod. Look how tiny he is. Another brachiopod in there. That might be part of a trilobite. I'm not 100% sure brachiopods there. Is this a horn coral? I think it's just a rock. What's in this piece? Alright. That might be part of a trilobite. Hard to tell. That looks like part of a brachiopod, maybe. Oh, maybe trilobite, actually. I need to get my air scrub fixed so that I can prep some of these guys out and see what they actually are. of a brachiopod in there. Nothing too exciting though. Mm. That is this piece. And uh Got that wing shape, which is a uh, partial trilobite. I don't know what that is. That might be part of a trilobite too. That definitely is, 100%. Very neat. And then this one, I think there's a little eye right in the middle there. But uh, yeah, that definitely looks like a trilobite eye. So many trilobites, guys. Meanwhile, he's just sitting here. 
Find anything? Just picked up this cute little brachiopod. He's so tiny. Like maybe a horn coral on this piece. <laughs> maybe. A weird looking one. Lots and lots of little bryozoans here, which are like a little moss animal. Plus some other shell hash in there too. Maybe some uh, brachiopod pieces. A really teeny tiny little crinoid. One of the smallest ones I've seen. Another little brachiopod, and we got both the front and the back of him. He's a little dirty on the back, but uh, it's kind of neat. You only usually get one half of it, so that's exciting. It's a good find. like some sort of little bryozoan encrusting something. It's getting hot out here. Look how cute this little guy is. He's so tiny. This is a uh, another little brachiopod, I believe. He's so little. It is hot and sunny at like two in the afternoon. We've got like at least two hours of driving ahead of us, plus all the flea market stops because we're on the Route 127 yard sale uh, route right now. This is like a five minute detour. Um, but I think we're just gonna call this a scouting trip, take the couple little guys we found and, uh, and head home.